Thank you, everybody, for coming. First of all, uh, it's great to see everybody. Uh, Mayor Higgins, Taoiseach, Minister Nocton, um, TD Senator, Senators, Councillors, President of ATU, um, stakeholders, friends, um, it's great. It's great to see so many people here. And actually, it's great to see some of the faces from way back when, when we first came here um, many years ago. Westpeak provides tailored business, investor-ready business support to startups uh, with the intention of converting their ideas, their innovative ideas, into a commercial reality. We, we work with, with entrepreneurs from Galway up to the top of Donegal, and we try to support them in a one-to-one -one basis and really provide intensive support, as is the trademark of the BICs across uh, the country. We're also an EU-certified BIC, um, and, we're, <coughs> and we work with an umbrella group in, in called EBN, the European Business and Innovation Centre uh, organisation in Brussels. And I think that's really important because we're an outward-looking outward organisation, and I think as an island nation, we always need to keep an eye on what's going on outside of the, the island that we, we live in. I'm delighted also to say that <clears throat> um, Galway Technology Centre has been our proud home for 21 years now. And um, this is our 21st year uh, in GTC. It's a great place to work. It's a great place to be based from. And we're really delighted that to see this expansion happen because it's really going to add a different layer of uh, support services and facilities to the clients that we hope to attract and attract here and plan to attract here. Uh, I'm proud also that we've achieved it in partnership with both our friends in the chamber, but also um, the board of GTC, the many boards of GTC at this stage. Uh, I, going back to 1994, there's been many boards and many chairs, some of who are with us today, thankfully. Um, in particular, I want to acknowledge the support, and this has been said already, I want to acknowledge the support from government, and especially uh, Enterprise Ireland. Enterprise Ireland um, have been really supportive in terms of so assisting us to get this expansion off the ground. Uh, where this podium is positioned today, this is the original site of the GTC that was set up in 1994 with six or seven companies and uh, a number of entrepreneurs that had vision, uh, a lot of hope and great expectation when they started off and they came from G they came from DEC, digital, and they relocated down to this, what was an advanced factory. It didn't look like this. It was basic, but it was functional. Um, I met one of the original entrepreneurs that was there earlier. He had another description for it, which I won't go into now, but it was truly the start point for what we see here today and what we're going to develop into the future. Um, as Kenny already mentioned, there was a huge community of volunteers and um, people across the business community in Galway that came together to make it happen. The first chair that I, that I worked with here in GTC was Sean Kinsler, the late Sean Kinsler, who was CEO of Thermo King across the road. And Sean would tell me stories about people coming to him when he was in Thermo King, said, Sean, you have to help us out. You have to give us a few bob to get this thing started. And that was, I think, the, the ethos and the spirit that got the original centre started in 1994. However, funding was required, and that's where Enterprise Ireland and the government came in and provided generously for this centre that's here now, but also the four million that's going to be invested in the new centre, which is really going to, I think, provide a new and different facility for us here. And that four million has been provided through the, um, the REDF funding programme, which is an important programme for uh, centres like this across the country. I want to acknowledge um, Carol Gibbons, who has joined us here today, but also Nolene Hussey um, uh, and Maeve Conahan, of course, the regional manager, and Anne-Marie, who is also with us today, all from Enterprise Ireland, who, has ha who have helped us to get this uh, building started in, in super quick time. The other people I should acknowledge, and, and it's not often said, but we need to acknowledge our, our funders, uh, our neighbours here, Bank of Ireland, who have also supported this project uh, through many years, uh, both this phase of, of the project plus the new phase, and that's important to recognise. I'll just say that the entrepreneurial journey is complex and it requires many players, and we here in Westpeak firmly believe in, in uh, a partnership approach. We work closely with the local enterprise offices across our region, and our region goes from here to Donegal. We work closely with the Western Development Commission, 
HBAN investors and syndicates, which are really important in, in providing access to startup capital for some of these companies, but also the ATU and the University of Galway. They're equally important in terms of providing those innovative ideas and, start, and startup entrepreneurs, which we work with and are only too happy to work with. And one of the things I would say in, in, in recent years, we are really enthused by the quality of the startups that are coming through the system and the support that is available. And going back to our, our EU um, dimension and our connection to Europe, one of the things that we see again and again is that the support mechanisms in Ireland really stand up well when you compare to what's available in other countries. And I think we, we, should, um, we should congratulate both Enterprise Ireland and government in terms of making sure that those are available. Um, the, finally, the, the, the intention was not to hold you long, too long here with the fine weather and, and the refreshments upstairs. But finally, what will this new expansion mean in terms of GTC? First of all, the new facility is going to be 65,000 square foot uh, across four floors. It'll include a scalable um, a enterprise level network facility, which is really important. It's going to have uh, enhanced office and co-working space, interactive meeting rooms, even higher uh, higher speed fiber broadband, which is really in, in crucial to the startups and the, the tech companies that we're working with here. And also what's equally important here is that there's the flexibility to grow within the building. You can come in here as a small company and as you scale, Noreen and the team and Thomas will find you extra space within the building so you can grow from the one location and that's a huge adva advantage which many people don't actually recognize. Um, in addition, the RDF funding is going to allow us to add, as Kenny already uh, mentioned, dedicated scaling and outreach services and I think that's really important. And the team are in place to make that happen now, and I think that's really important. So the aim overall here, aim here is to provide an even greater springboard for businesses looking to build out an international presence, but to do it from the West. Uh, I echo previous speakers in saying uh, thank you, Tishuk, uh, for your presence. Thank you, Enterprise Ireland, and thank you to all our stakeholders and partners who have made this place possible and for joining us today. Kora maha